Okay, I've got the question, how do you tune the radios using the IFD100 app? Okay, so you can see here I'm using a simulator, but I've got the uh, IFD100 repeated up on the screen here, uh, connected to a, an IFD. Uh, so if I want to tune the radios, uh, you can see I've got my two comms, two navs, uh, just active and standby. The first thing you can do is just reach up and touch anywhere in the standby window and you'll get a numeric keyboard so you could dial in whatever frequency you want. Same if you wanted to do a nav, you just touch the standby and put in whatever frequency you like. Let's put in something else. Okay, so um, however you want to do it. Um, there we go. Um, so if you want to put in a frequency, you just touch the standby and type it in. But to make it active, you have to hit, use the flip-flop on the actual IFD. And there's a couple of other uh, options uh, where you can wire a remote flip-flop, you know, a frequency transfer button on your yoke. If you have the Bluetooth keyboard, you can transfer the frequency that way as well. Another way to do it is you got this frequency button right here. So if we touch that, and you can just double-click using touch and tune the frequency that way. Again, you have to use the flip-flop on the IFD, one on the actual IFD to transfer it into the active. So that gives you the ability to use the I switch to the en route tab, and there's a list of my en route frequencies. I can tune those. So that's one way to do it. You tune the standby, but then you have to manually activate it by transferring into the active. It won't let you touch the uh, active to get it up there. Um, another way to get the frequencies, there's a near. So if you got the frequency nomination button, you've got the nearest button, which you see here, which brings up all the nearest airports. If you wanted to tune one of those frequencies, you can literally just scroll down through the list and pick one of these airports and double click on the frequency and it'll transfer it over, see? And then the other way you can do it is if you're on this info tab. So if I'm on FMS info, if I select that, and I can put in any airport, whichever one you want here, but uh, let's just put one in. Let's put in for, I don't know, K. Uh, Oshkosh. Let's just look up the frequencies for Oshkosh. Well, I'm flying along the East Coast here. Let's uh, put something else in. Maybe uh, Baltimore, BWI. Uh, so there's Baltimore, Washington. But at any rate, whichever one you do, then you click on this com communication. I'm sorry. You hit the wrong button there. And there's a list of all the frequencies for any given airport you might want to select. Uh, so you select whichever one you want, and it'll transfer it over into the active, into the excuse me, into the standby frequency. But you always have to manually flip flop it using either the flip flop on the bezel of your panel mounted IFD. You can hardwire a switch in on your yoke, which you can't do in flight. But if you uh, ask your dealer to add that, that's a nice convenient feature. And if you have the Bluetooth keyboard, it has a transfer switch. But uh, for some reason, the I, the FAA hasn't let us do uh, flip flop on the iPad yet. We're hoping that changes soon. So uh, anyway, that's that's that. So the best way, uh, just if you're flying along, you touch the standby frequency and just dial it in right on right on the uh, numeric keyboard. Thanks.